Welcome back to The Factor on Censored. A pay bump is on the way for Harris County constables. Now Tuesday, a grievance committee voted unanimously on their raises. The pay difference will be about 17%. The base salaries of elected constables currently in Harris County, $133,000 and $98 a year to $178,509 a year. I ask my next guest how they feel about the pay raise. And joining us tonight here on The Factor on Censored, we have Constable Alan Rosen and Constable-elect Smokey Phillips. Glad to have you guys both here on The Factor on Censored. It has been a long path to this where you guys are actually getting a raise from the county and many people were shocked and surprised that your number two would make more than you because you guys haven't received a raise from the county. First of all, Constable Rosen, your thoughts about that? Well, it's been nine years since uh, I've had a pay raise. And of course, not only was my number two, but my number three over the last few years has been earning more than the actual leader of uh, the agency. And so- And, and I'm sure I, you appreciate them and the hard work they do, but how does that leave absolutely. you feeling? Well, I mean, look, I fight for my people every day uh, for their pay. I want them to make more money. It's important. The job that we do is very difficult. But I will tell you, it, it, it did. It, it tells you that my leadership from the county perspective was not, they did not see a value. And, you know, not having a pay raise for nine years, it was time that we, as all eight of us, stood up and actually filed a grievance uh, where a, a committee could actually uh, talk about all the things that have gone on over the last nine years. And, uh, and thankfully they, they agreed with us. Uh, they really did. I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, we were looking for pay equity. We were looking for fairness. We were looking for fairness when it comes to compensation. And, and that's what this committee, it was, it had to be an independent committee to actually right the wrong that was going on here. And so if it, uh, Captain Phillips, uh, Constable Elect, if it were left up to county commissioners, uh, did they propose any kind of raise for you guys? As a labor leader, they haven't proposed any raise for the elected officials. Uh, but I say this, I said, there is no other county in Texas where the law enforcement leader make less than their subordinates. Uh, Constable Rosen and the other eight, uh, other seven constables, they do a great job uh, in the community. And I think the community, people who sat on that board, understood the job of the constables and the work that's done by the constable's office, whether it's in the municipal area or the unincorporated areas, the constables transcends both. So I think uh, uh, it sends a message to the communities and the public that how important the job of the constables are. Uh, what well, the commissions would have given the money, I don't know. Uh, sometimes they shortchange the constables for other for other operations. And Constable Rosen, one of the things we heard was someone um, with the county was asking for a study before they move forward with the decision from the community, which granted you all the raise. So when you hear they want to study this, is that a delay tactic? You think? I can't get into what there is in their head. I can tell you that the county does a lot of studies and I don't think <laughs> I don't think that this panel I don't think this panel actually felt as though um they were getting a you know kind of the straight answer on that. And so from from my perspective, they they saw the value that we provide to the community. Uh, we are the closest thing to the community as you can get from a law enforcement perspective. Constables are known to give out their cell numbers, and when somebody needs help, that's who they call. And so I think this panel saw the value um, of, of what services we provide and what leadership we provide, more importantly. And so a, another study to say, you know, we, we don't have uh, enough money to give pay raises or another study to do something. And, and to be honest with you, I don't I don't see many of the recommendations on these studies. I, I, I don't see, I, I don't know. And, and there was a panel member who actually said that when 
they give COLAs, which is cost of living adjustments, to county employees as a whole, they should do the elected official at the same time. We're certainly not getting wealthy off of this, Isaiah. We're doing it because we love public service. Mm. We love to serve people. And, and that's what it's all about. To me, it was not about numbers on a piece of paper. It was about recognizing good leadership and, and paying a commitment with good leadership and, and good values and, and community service. And Smokey, as we wrap up here, do you truly believe they respect and appreciate the job that constables do? Well, certainly. And that certainly would be county commissioners. Some of, the, some of the commissioners uh, may oppose a lot of things that the constable does uh, and like to enjoin us with other departments uh, or other services in the county. But I think uh, overall, do the commissioners care? Uh, sometimes and somewhat. But as Alan said earlier, that the job that we do is not about the money. It's about serving the community. Well, gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored, and congratulations for that long overdue raise. We appreciate your time here on The Factor.